Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going to talk about domain names and not your typical .com domain name, but some of your newer top level domain names, where you should buy them, how much they cost, and some of my best recommendations for getting them. All right, guys, so what inspired me to do this video today is Namecheap's 98 cent domain name sale page, I guess you can call it. They have this page on their website where you can find these newer top level domain names for just 98 cents. But the catch is that they are 98 cents for the first year, but you'll pay a little bit more than that for the second year, third year, fourth year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what I wanted to do in this video today is to compare how much the, the the standard price is for some of these domain names on Namecheap with Google domains. Now I get, um, I'd say like 80% of my domain names from Google domains and the other 20% from Namecheap. And it just depends on the pricing. As you'll see, there could be you know a substantial difference between the prices. So um, what I did was I basically picked a domain name and saw how much it cost on each of the providers. So let's look at how much some of those price differences can actually be. So the domain name that I picked was Coconut9. Okay, and typically this would be coconut9.com, but the first one up here is coconut9.online. Google charges $30 per year for this domain name, while Namecheap charges $32.88. So small difference, not substantial, but there is a difference there. The next one is coconut9.site. Google charges 20 bucks for this while Namecheap charges 25.88. Now, that's a little bit, the, the gap there is increasing. Um, so you can see, you gotta be careful here. Coconut9.space, 20 bucks for Google, 19.88 for Namecheap. Namecheap has all their prices ending in .88, or not .88, 88 cents. So 19.88, not a huge difference, 12 cents there. Same thing with fun, coconut9.fun. 20 bucks for Google, 19.88 for Namecheap. Coconut9.pw, I don't know why you would ever want that website, but it's nine bucks on Google and 19.88 on Namecheap. So we're looking at double right there, over double. Coconut9.press, 60 bucks on Google, 63.88 on Namecheap. So this is another one where Google is cheaper. Now, this is probably the most interesting one, coconut9.host. Google charges you $120 per year for this domain name, while coconut9.host only costs $84.88 on Namecheap. This, is, this right here is like a prime reason that you should be checking both Google and Namecheap for how much these domain names cost. A couple more here, coconut9.club. Actually sounds like it could be a pretty cool place to go, <laughs> coconut9club. Um, $13 on Google and $11.88 on Namecheap. So again, Namecheap is cheaper in this case. And the last one here, coconut9.website, 20 bucks for Google, $19.88 for Namecheap. So um, yeah, so I guess, it, like I said, I guess it really depends on what your domain name is, what your domain name extension is, and where you're buying it from. And that's gonna dictate how much each one of these domain name providers are gonna charge you. Now, I guess it is a pretty good deal to get a lot of these for 98 cents for the first year. It actually comes out to be $1.28 with the tax and everything. So, I mean, recently I bought like five of these just to do some tests at site one, site two, site three, dot XYZ. That's another one of these um, very cheap ones. I didn't do it in the test, but dot XYZ. So, a um, little bit of a fun video here today. Hope you guys learned something about buying domain names, especially the uncommon domain names, these new top level domain names that are not the dot com, dot net, dot org, but some of the newer ones like dot online, dot club, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you guys got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it and you're not subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate it. And if you do subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.